Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week for review. During this week, we'll be talking about STEAM Fair, which is the STEAM Fair week. Firstly, we are going to be introduced to the concept of STEAM. Then, after you guys are done with your modeling, we are going to be talking about how to create your trifold and the basic component of the trifold. Firstly, STEAM. The significance of STEAM education stems from its ability to prompt a comprehensive comprehension of the world and provide people with a varied skill set that is essential for thriving in the 21st century. Innovation is fueled by science and technology, problem solving and critical thinking are fostered by engineering, creativity and expression are sparked by the arts, and logical reasoning or analytical reasoning is supported by mathematics. Incorporating these disciplines into STEAM not only replicates the interdependence of the real-world problem, but also equips you to succeed in a labor market that is changing quickly. Through the development of an inquisitive, flexible, and collaborative mindset, STEAM education equips you to take on challenging assignments and make valuable contribution to society. Then, we are going to be moving to building your trifold after you guys are done with your modeling process. So firstly, we're gonna start with the abstract. The abstract is like a short summary of a research project. It starts by introducing the main question or problem being studied. Then it quickly talks about how the research was done and what was found. Finally, it wraps up by summarizing the main points and explaining why they're important. The idea is to give a quick overview of what the research is about, how it was done, and why it matters. Then, we are going to move to the hypothesis. To write a hypothesis, pinpoint the variables, what you are changing and measuring, predict the relationship by stating if the independent variable changes, then expected effect on dependent variable. Make sure it's testable, allowing for experimentation or observation to validate your prediction. A hypothesis is a concise prediction guiding your research and experimentation process. Then we have the research background. The research background sets the stage for your study. Start by introducing the main topic and why it matters. Briefly mention what's already known or unknown in this area. Point out any questions or problems that your research aims to solve. Conclude by explaining how your study adds something new and valuable to what's already out there. This paragraph helps readers understand the context and importance of your research in a nutshell. Then we have the conclusion. To write a conclusion, summarize the main points of your work. Remind the reader of what you found and how it relates to your initial question or thesis. Also reflect on the broad significance of your research. This and think about how your finding fit into the bigger picture and if there are any implications for the future. Keep it concise and leave the reader with a clear understanding of why your work matters.